Metal band recommendations? I don't know, man. Winter Sun, they're good. Strapping Young Lad, God Dethroned, Demu Borgir, Slayer? Man. Slayer, you know, I've been to a Slayer concert. Slayer is like real life Death Clock. You know how in Death Clock, they joke about how fans will go to the Death Clock can uh, concert and they'll get their limbs chopped off and they'll be like, yeah, Death Clock. You know how like they'll just get killed. Gladly will get killed at a concert, right? I went to see Slayer at the Long Beach Sports Arena, okay? And let me just paint the picture for you. So I had floor seats to see Slayer. And it was like an, a circular arena. The floor was like a like a court, you know, like a basketball court, whatever it is. And then there was like theater seating around. But when you're on the floor, there must have been a 14 foot difference from the concrete and the balcony, right? So imagine that concrete balcony, at least 14 feet way up there. So people were trying to get into the floor seats but there were guards everywhere so these slayer fans they were dying to get to the stage but they couldn't get to the stage so what they started doing is they started jumping off the fucking balcony not only doing that but people are throwing beers on the ground so the floor is wet they're these slayer fans with their denim jackets that have fucking patches, the whole thing. They're jumping off the balcony, breaking their legs. It looks like they're limping, right? And then the security guards would grab them right in front of my eyes. The security guards would, they were waiting under the balcony like, what's the next guy? Who's the next guy? They were jumping. Slayer fans were raining from the sky, right? They would fall. They would slip limp into the darkness they didn't give a fuck about security they couldn't they were like slimy slayer fans they used to just like wiggle free and they would just escape into the darkness of the crowd it was amazing the way these guys were so determined they would fall i mean you know that hurt that shit fucking hurt and they would just get up and be like slayer and they would just run in that's it slayer I walked out of that concert, actually. Man, all their songs sound the same. I think I went to see a different uh, band. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. It's funny how they managed to just put the same fucking guitar solo in every song. Like, that's not how you do it, right? But whatever, man, they're, you know, Slayer. I was never that into Slayer. I like <laughs> Iron you. Maiden. I've seen Iron Maiden before. I like Iron Maiden more than I like Slayer. I guess I kind of relate them. I don't know if they should be related, but I like Iron Maiden a lot. They're good. I never got into Megadeth <laughs> either. I met Dave Mustaine one time at a Dragon Force concert. I met Dave Mustaine at, a, at the bar at a Dragon Force concert, and I told him I'm not that big a fan. I said, wow, Dave Mustaine, not that big of a fan. And he laughed. I heard he was an asshole. But he laughed, so he seemed cool. And I said, nice to meet you, man. See ya. How's Dragon Force live? They were great. They jump around on trampolines. It's fucking weird. They have trampolines and they have like holsters with like a beer in it with like a straw sticking out so they can like do sick guitar solos and with a straw drink beer while they're doing guitar solos. And they really do jump on trampolines. It's fucking super weird. It's like some kind of weird Discovery Zone version of metal. Mm. But yeah, they were cool. I liked it. And I met Dave Mustaine. That was a huge fire hazard. Whatever concert, uh, that was like a concert 
venue that was so small, I'm sure it's burned down by now. But they oversold that concert like crazy. There was way too many people in there. Was it the one in Portland? No, it's the furthest I've gone for a concert is San Diego. I drove to San Diego with my friend, my friend John, uh, to see Amon Amarth. That was a really good concert, too. Uh, that's the concert where I met Gene Hoagland, actually. And I remember that concert because John was wearing this shirt. Oh, my God. I forgot about this hilarious shit. <laughs> This guy was wearing this shirt, my friend John. It was this shirt that, it was like a Metallica shirt, but it was so old. I mean, like, it was barely hanging on by a thread. It had holes in it. It was just the oldest shirt ever, right? And the whole time he was talking about, this is my lucky uh, concert shirt. I go to concerts and I go in the pit. I always wear this shirt at concerts. And it was ridiculous looking. I told him that shirt is not going to last you the whole night. He's like, don't worry about it. It always makes it through the concert. It's my lucky concert shirt. So my friend John, he's like six foot something tall, really tall guy. So I'm up in the balcony and I can see the pit. I'm looking down. The concert has started. I immediately just started. Like the moment the first song started... I could see this fucking guy. There was this white guy standing across from John. And since he was so tall, you know, when people are tall, other people like to give them shit. Like, oh, this guy's really tall and he's in the pit. I'm going to fuck him up, right? So I could see John because he's super tall. And I see this other guy. And the other guy looks at him, right? So they make eye contact. And the moment the music starts and the mosh pit starts, this guy immediately just tears off the shirt. It doesn't survive even one moment of the concert. He immediately just tore the whole shirt off and John's shirt, poof, dust. It turns to dust. Just like I fucking said it would, shreds. It was hilarious. And the funniest part was when he came back, he was laughing so hard because he wanted to tell me the story about how this fucking white guy tore his shirt off right away. And I had seen it. I said I was front row. I saw the fucking guy. And he was like, you saw that guy? It was hilarious. I could see them from way above. Too good, dude. That shirt was trash. Lucky shirt. Classic. I told you, dude, that shit's not, it barely survived the car ride to San Diego. And he's just sitting in a car. Good times. Man, I should go to bed. You guys got me yippity yapping. <laughs>